Hello there, we're just going to do a quick video on how to perform a head clean on an Epson printer. We're using an Epson L3110 printer to demonstrate on, but basically they're much the same. So if you're using Windows 10, if you would just come down to the flag at the bottom here in the left hand corner, click start, into devices or into Windows settings, find devices, and what have we got here? We've got devices and printers. Let's navigate to our printer. Oh, and that's opened up on the other screen. So we'll pull that in here. Open it up fully. Right, there we go. The Epsom L3110. Right click on it. Printing preferences. And you can see you've got a maintenance tab. Click on the maintenance tab and you can see here there's many functions you can do here. Power cleaning, head cleaning, nozzle check. If we have a quick look at them, if we take hit the nozzle check, that will tell us the state of the heads. If they're not so great, we can hit the head cleaning. Straight there. And what that will do is force ink through the print heads and hopefully clear them. If you're still struggling, try power cleaning. That's a far more aggressive program that pushes the ink faster through, quicker through with more power, as the name suggests. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to get into print head alignment, etc, etc, etc. But let's have a look at what we've got. Um, head cleaning. If you were to click on there, all you do is you hit start. And you can possibly hear in the background it's away. I always say no to this. We don't want technical updates. We don't want um, firmware. If your printer's working, why change it? It's not to your advantage. So decline. And here we go. As you can see, it's building whilst it goes through. So let's just watch that. There's not a lot to really say about it. Coming on to print head alignment, whilst we're going through this process, we might just as well do something. If you're getting blurred prints, if it looks as though it's ghosting or shadowing, it may well be that your printer needs to have its head aligned. This is the procedure, this is the button you would hit. Play around, have a look, see what you've got here and just become familiar with it. You can hear in the background that um, it's printing or it's cleaning the heads. And in a moment, we'll do a nozzle check, show you how that works, and that should be that. As you can see, it does take a while. It's just a question of being patient. I should say, before you go through any of this, Double check that your ink levels are correct. If it's in a normal printer using cartridges, check your ink levels because sometimes you will run out of ink and that will give the same appearance as a blocked head, no printing. The same applies where you've got the ink tanks like the on the ET series and the L series. That looks like we're pretty much done here. It's going through the final phases now. I don't know what that took, about three, four minutes.
and we're done. As you can see, the next screen up is printer nozzle check pattern. Let's do that and see what we've got. It's very polite. Do you want to print? Just confirm you do. That was a bit too quick for it. And that is that. If we just hit finish there, I've checked, I've got the printout. I will scan a copy of this in. Um, and the printout is absolutely perfect. On the printout, it shows you the serial number, for firmware revision, how many prints you've done, so on and so forth. It also shows you the first time that the thing was set up and printed on. Okay, thanks for watching.